Hello people, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to do this very very simple floating kind of text effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So basically what you need to do is first create a simple basic titles. So I'm just going to press Ctrl plus T and this creates automatically the basic title. After that I'm going to go to the inspector and I'm going to change the tracking of this title to make it a little bit more apart. I'm gonna press Option and click this title, drag it upwards to create a duplicate. And on this duplicate, I'm gonna first drop the opacity down to around 14% and then go back to the title setting. And then I'm gonna change the rotation settings. So basically, I'm gonna first change the X axis to make it drop down, something like that. Once it's already down, I'm gonna put it down a little bit so to separate the both titles and maybe drag the actual title a little bit above, something like that. This is already sort of like a floating title. If you're satisfied, that's what you need to do. For me, the title just now is assuming that there's a light source coming from top left hand corner. And for this case, maybe I'm going to change it to top right hand corner of the screen. So first of all, I'm going to change the Y axis. So since it's top right hand corner, so it's going to tilt it to the left. And then I'm going to change the Z axis as well. Something like that. Yep. This light source is higher. It's around here. It's not all the way to the right, but at this part. If you want your light source to be around this place, then all is done. If not, if you want your light source to be, you know, this this part of the screen, maybe you need to change it a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the X axis first, and then I'm gonna change the Z axis, something like that and change the position maybe like that and you can always come to this icon over here and do some minor detail changes or you can go to this icon over here and click transform and then you can just change it freely like this just drag it and if you're done just click done and this light source is around like this, like front right, you know, uh, right hand, top right hand corner. Moral of the story is you need to determine a light source coming from a definite angle and then you can change according to the light source. And next step, I'm going to show you how to create those simple, you know, transitional effect to bring you to the title. So I'm going to go to this place and I'm gonna go to transitions and I'm gonna find lens flare yep this one but before anything else I'm gonna drag this basic title a little bit longer something like that and cut it and then I'm gonna drag the lens flare to this position and yep once you hit play you, you realize that this um, little light source is coming from the bottom left hand corner if you don't like it to be you can always change the starting center and change the x-axis to be like this and you realize that there's a sudden movement of this tidal shadow ish thing you can always drag this a little bit longer and then come here and go to this icon over here create a keyframe drag to 0% and around this timing put it to 15% or 14% up to you and then once you hit play yep, you realize that there's a gradual appearance of the shadow and this is like a floating title and basically that's how you create this you know small little transition to the floating text and now comes the creative part 
you can always change the drop shadow like you can always change this shadow part to have different words for example instead of title you change to float so this creates a dramatic effect so what appears to be you know the actual meaning is actually different from the one appearing at the front so the hidden meaning is float but then the front meaning is title so you know this is like a dramatic cinematic kind of a, a floating title effect and I hope this helped you to you know do something funny creative with your titles and that's the end of today's tutorial hope you guys enjoyed this and remember to subscribe and like this video thank you very much and bye bye